So, hello my beautiful friend. Oh my god, it took me about two hours to figure out what has happened. I wanted to do this so much earlier because, uh, if you're not aware, I'm a huge fan of Atlas Games um, because a friend of mine several years ago introduced me to Persona. And that was, yeah, well, it wasn't life-changing, but it had a huge impact on my gaming habits, because Persona games are rather involved. So, uh, we're gonna dive into Metaphor, Refantasio, a game that was not on my uh, radar at all. I did not know that this is an Atlas game, that this is coming out. Uh, I just saw a uh, Gamer Ranks' uh, Before You Buy video and I was like, yeah, I like the guys, I'm gonna watch it even though I don't know the game. And here we are, <laughs> I immediately bought it and yeah, let's dive in. While it is loading, um, thank you so much, oh, the, that was a good piece of art for a thumbnail, damn, uh, that was a little bit too slow, doesn't matter. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you so much. Please remember to do all the platform specific things, all the things that make the dings. So thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever you have to do. And let's go. Text language English, please. Proceed with English text. Yes. Oh, it finally works. It took so long. I had to reinstall so many things. Uh, Japanese or English? Uh, let's go with English. Um, usually I do the Japanese voice acting, but I think for streaming and recording English would be better. Network connection will be okay. I don't know. Oh, I immediately regret my decision. I think I'm going to go over to uh, Japanese again. Uh, yes, confirm the brightness. Autosave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know. I'm going to do this the correct way. Don't worry, Atlas. I love you. And why is there no sound? This is a work of fiction. Yeah. And I almost drained my first mug of coffee. Damn, okay, the next time we're doing this, I already start the game. <laughs> there is sound. Atlas, I love you guys. So, in, uh, next year, apparently, there is going to be um, Persona 6. So, in preparation for that, I'm replaying Persona 3. Then I'm going to play Persona 4. And then Persona 5 on my free time. And I trust oh. this will suffice. God smiles upon the gems. Oh, away with you! Back to your sexpit, beggar! Damn, asshole. I don't know what we're gonna keep it in English. Grotesque as its people. You dreamt of utopia. You saw the tribes united as one. Oh. Um, he doesn't look. Oh, okay. You should have done the same, dude. Dude, what is happening? This is just the beginning. Your kingdom will perish alongside you. Holy crap! Um. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> By my hand. By my hand. I cannot fathom it. His majesty killed in his own bed. The blooms upon the prince his grave had yet to wilt. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Thus vulnerable, an invasion oh. might undo us. From within or without, the state hangs on a precipice. It may even come to civil war. Oh, In I know that voice. We must stand together. Your eminence. Who could do this? 
Few could even enter the king's chambers, let alone draw close. And yet... And yet, his majesty's arcane power could deflect near any blade. With all the royal bloodline's magic, who could harm him at all? Oh, interesting. Shadows Good to know. in the castle, just as they did with the prince. What hellbound soul could end a royal life? Who would dare such atrocity? Hmm, who would dare? Luis. A shame to die with no heirs. The prince was taken too soon. Oh. And only a king may wield the royal scepter, the very crux of his vaunted bloodline's magic, which made such a fine deterrent to war. Okay, like an atomic bomb? Them dead. Who shall take the throne? Not ominous at all. Such a lovely character. <laughs> oh. Mm. First mark done. This looks like a Lego set. I like it. I don't know what the um, overall English term for... Oh, bricks. A brick set. Um... Okay, interesting. Nice intro. Except the fire. As usual, every Atlas game just starts... I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> Shoji Meguro. Oh yeah, and I'm keeping the English voice actors because I'm going to play this again and again on my own time so I'm just there is a lot of redacted here holy crap a uh, metaphor um and then I'm just gonna switch to Japanese again especially for people who are just listening uh, it's way way easier to follow anything here uh wait before we do that systems um yeah these sound fine vibration Auto advance. Uh, dialogue with voice. No, I might stand up because of Gaia. As much as I want to do this auto advance for the dialogue with voice. Uh, display subtitles for anime cutscenes. Yes, please. And I will confirmation for guard. Uh, no. Toggle auto lock. An enemy. Oh, nice. I want that. No, no. Camera assist. Uh, I don't care. Uh, camera shake. Is Let's see how much that is. Message speed. Now, uh, skip selections and skipping events. What? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, skip special animations, depending on how many there are. Uh, network functions, fine. Adjust brightness. Okay, this looks fine. Then, let's go. New game. I am so excited for this one. What's going to happen? This is not fantasy at all. Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Okay. Oh, I can press auto. Please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Maybe. Pardon my curiosity. But would you tell me your name? That is to say. Tell me who you really are. Oh. One who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. Oh. Okay, uh... Oh, I don't like that we have to name our character. <laughs> uh, because usually I would do Beardy, but that doesn't fit with an Atlas game. Um, I could do my Final Fantasy 14 name. Um, let's just go with that. Your name is indeed Azumi. Yeah. You will name the protagonist later. What? Oh. Wait. So... This is really our name. 
Beardsley. <laughs> Beardy. Yes. Ah, a most unusual name. I know. One I've never heard now. Makes sense. Which suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Interesting. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. But I hope so. It truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you. If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is ask away. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? Oh, wow. Um, not always. Because every creation has some kind of power. Consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope Moment, can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. I knew it as soon as we start. Unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale. Okay, wait. Before. I have the feeling that a cutscene is going to happen in a moment. Let me just look after her because she's not going to stop. So of course she's going to start crying in a moment again, but for now she has something to eat. She can, um, she's warm. Let's wait and see. Let this tale begin. Oh, select difficulty. A uh, standard difficulty where battles will thrill and challenge. This difficulty can be changed later on. Oh, nice. Wait. Oh, Regicide can't be changed later on. Uh, for players who wants to focus purely on the story, battle pose no threat of death. No. Oh, uh, we're just gonna go with normal for sake of the stream. Starting on normal difficulty, yes. Because I don't want to... Uh, put so many hours into this. It's going to be a long game either way. <laughs> oh! Ooh! Heterochromatic eyes. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true then? The king is dead? Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the road safe. So now the monsters Thank you for the follow, daylight, by the way. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. <laughs> to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? A monster. They're bandits. Okay. No monster. Come on, let's see some respect for the militia. Us folk, we're commoners. No crown or church will save us. But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is no tribute. Okay. You're with us or against us. And if you're against us. Is that a warning shot? An igniter? Uh, how do they get one of those? Um I don't know. Maybe from a shop? I'm more interested in where did they get their vehicle. Huh? Look at you. What have we got here? He's an elder. A what? So he is. No horns, no knife is. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> the stoic mute. Hey, it's just my hey, my book. Give it back. Oh no. Damn. They do not mess around. Oh, 
Oh, she fast. I like her. Dude! <gasps> no! Okay, at least he can scream, so... It's not the stoic mute character protagonist at all. Memorandum? What the hell is a memorandum? What is this? Magic Igniters. A tool that acts as a conduit for magic power, without which people cannot perform magic. To own or use them, one must obtain a permit from the kingdom by passing a test, with some exceptions such as those serving in the state army. Igniters can be costly depending on power and specifications, and purchasing them is akin to buying a land or house. Damn. Uh... The expense is so great, buying more than one igniter would be difficult even with the entire lifetime income of the average commoner. In order to prevent accidents and crime, the Crown Theocracy and the Magic Association have exclusive production rights of igniters. Unauthorized production is considered a serious offense. The time needed to cast magic depends on the user's skill, but it can also be slightly impacted by the capabilities of the igniter itself. While using an igniter, while sedentary, po sedentary possesses, uh, poses little problem, activating an igniter while moving is difficult, and it's thus advised to use them cautiously. Okay. Uh, Gauntlet Runner often called runners as shorthand, a general term for magic-powered semi-automated vehicles designed for traversing the wastelands and either overcoming or circumventing local wildlife threats and magical phenomena. Traveling the wilds on foot or even in a lightly armed carriage has historically been incredibly dangerous, incredibly dangerous making any long-distance trips, uh, trips a life-threatening risk. However, as cities and uh, countries grew, so too did the mine for resources, many of which required transport in large quantities. The gauntlet runners filled the niche of an armed, sturdy vehicle that could help with transport and land development. There are smaller runners through uh, uh, roughly the size of an armed carriage with a simple deck addition, but it's more common to see models that walk on legs, with an internal living area comparable to a modest house. Nice! Legs are more common in their design than wheels, partly because of their versatility on all manner of difficult terrain, but more so because adopting the remains and skeletons of large monsters as is, as is, is more cost-effective and stronger than artificially creating all the components necessary. Interesting. Uh, culture. Sanctism. A monotheist a monotheistic religion devoted to the worship of the one God, the Almighty. The religion of majority across the United Kingdoms. Its sanctus preach that uttering the player Clausure uh, with one's whole heart will reach God, bringing salvation. It is the state religion and the sanctist hi hierarchy is deeply intertwined with the kingdom's politics. Currently, the crown theocracy is at the heart of the kingdom's political affairs. Okay, interesting. This place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Looks like it. They didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. Hmm. What mission? We can talk. Come on. This is no time for jokes. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? Who are we? More important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. Okay. Who are we? What do we have to do? What is the mission? Just answer, <laughs> Gelica, or however your name is pronounced. Tradia oh, Desert. Shit. You don't look hurt, though. Uh, so that's good news. Oh. Stop auto. I'm thinking we should find a place where we can see the whole area. Basic controls. Yeah. Oh, R2. Oh, nice. 
Okay, uh, circle to dodge, R2 to dash. Some actions you can perform and the corresponding controls are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Oh, nice. You can also use the minimap to see which way you go. You can view tutorials you've seen. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay, this feels nice. What? Wait, I'm sensing something close. Don't move. I'm not moving. Oh. Watch out. Yeah, those look especially dangerous. So watch out. I don't think they've noticed us yet, though. Face sight. Ooh, this is a fey. I love face. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, press alto to use face sight. This ability lets you see what Gallica senses in the environment. When you see an enemy you've never confronted before, it will show up as unknown. Prepare as best you can. Okay. Ooh. So she just stays there? They look pretty tough. Careful now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's also on the minimap. Run! Run! Where do we have to go? I... Oh no. Oh no. I have no weapon. I'm harmless. I don't taste good. <gasps> no. Oh. The... <laughs> it's just gone. Ooh, nice. Gaia screaming again in the background. Just checking. But you do remember what we're here to do. Right? No. Refresh my memory, please. Right. Traveling boy. Boy. Oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives? Yes, please. Expound. First, we get to the royal capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the army's recruitment center. Why? This could decide the fate of the whole country. Why? We either do our jobs or we die. You already said that. <laughs> and if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. Yeah, but what is the goal? This is just the first step. And get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's coolest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. That is rough. I can at least cast I get that. It's the small comforts, right? Um, what are your usual spells? What was that? It's as tough music um, is playing directly in my mind. The effect of Gallica's magic is inspiring. Oh, I love this! This is amazing. Oh, this is beautiful. This is awesome idea. Okay, I'm looking. That's a road, isn't it? What a relief. Grand Trat is already inside. Let's go. Almost there. Let's keep moving and try to stay out of sight. I think that's Grand Cathedral over there. It's big enough to use as a landmark. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, wait, should we fight? I'm gonna try and fight. Wait. Oh! It's a real time. I'm... No. No. Too much damage. Run! I thought this is... I'm sensing danger close by. Careful now. Okay. Um, is this not a turn-based game? <gasps> no! No! Just run! Run, traveling boy! Run! Oh, this is bad. I agree. Uh-oh. Oh, crap! <laughs> Did I mess up? Okay. Euchronia. Okay. Euchronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart, and no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. Okay, we survived. 
So, but what is this glitter that's coming up, that's floating everywhere? By this story of fantasy, may this faded world be painted anew. Okay. Oh, great seeker, bearer of fantasy empowered. Hear my wish and come forth from thy epoch of glory to grant something. What's up? Hi! I hope you're doing well. Whoa, just look. I'm looking. Ooh, now that's more fantasy. Okay, we're clean all of a sudden again. Holy crap, what? What is happening? What happened? What? No. What is a parapus? Such a shame. By you, special coin. Bless you. Oh, careful. Huh? What? What happened? Why careful? No. Because shinies? What happened? Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here in the whole city even. Oh no, sorry. Don't come at me with that. I have no interest in that. But aren't there any more people without horns and stuff like that? So I don't get why this is so... Uh, or is it the heterochromat? Oh, the people already know. Careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Oh. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending a guard out to deal with them. Interesting. The army's really gone to hell. A far cry from only a Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. You'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> hmm. So I didn't pay attention to the women. Had do they had horns? Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power, but not even the kingdom's best, the saint. Purify this affliction. Okay. What does he have? Under this curse. Ten but years. Can his body hold up? No doubt his highness would protest. But uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. What are you going to do? The man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. What? I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? Okay. This Gaia, just a second. For all our sakes. Oh, that is the mission. Yeah, just a second, my love. 
She could have told us that a little bit earlier. Oh, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. Me and the prince were pretty close. Were we? Anyway, getting to the castle was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so you can meet up with our operative. Okay, Remember, let's do it. Nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. Okay, good to know. Us, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. I'm just not gonna talk. Step one. Let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. Also, there was a resting soldier right beside us. We can just ask him, maybe? So? Do you know where we're going? Feel free to admit that you're lost and ask me for advice. Uh, press R1 to open local map. Ooh, I like that. If you're unsure of what to do, try pressing triangle gallica always has good ideas oh so she thinks <laughs> saving Ooh, yes i want to save thank you so i'm gonna look after the cat what's wrong my love so okay she did eat i covered her in a blanket and now uh, she's fine. She's purring. She's happy. We are happy. We can play without any more distractions. Let's do this. Um, new memorandum. Let's check. There's a lot, but we need information. Let's go with magic first. A general term for the technique that consumes power to cause phenomena that bend the laws of nature. It has a wide range of applications, from modest use in daily life to destructive power in war. However, as magic igniters, which uh, as magic igniters, which require a state permit for ownership and use, are required for people to be able to use magic. Many cannot wield magic. Music and magic. An unusual variety of magic that causes the listener to become aware of their state of mind through the form of sound and music. As it is a modest form of magic with seemingly no utility on the battlefield, it is considered a meaningless, trifling skill in society and is thus rarely used. Interesting. Kingdom of Ukronia. A union of allied kingdoms spans, of, uh, spans the kingdom of Ukronia, the principality of Oceana, and the principality of Montario. O Ukronia being the Caesarian uh, with its king holding authority over all three kingdoms, the original king Hythlodaeus was this uni uh, United Nations first ruler and is often referred to as the founder king. The continent is surrounded by fast-running currents, and ships can only set anchor from the southern island sea, where the otherwise swift currents are less violent. As a result, there have been few invasions from overseas, and the three countries have achieved long histories. The capital of the kingdom is Grand Trad, the largest city in the kingdom, located in the north-central Ukronia. The most widespread religion is Sanctism. Established as the state religion under the reign of the most recent monarch, King Hithlodius V. Royal capital Grand Trad. The, uh, the nation's largest city, capital of both the Kingdom of Ukronia and the United Kingdoms at large, also referred to as the royal capital, being the home of the palace and seat of the royal bloodline. Known for its solid rampart, a site which has long been a um, emblematic of the city itself. However, when the massive reg regolith Grand Cathedral was built, the building's grandeur became the new symbol of Grand Trad. It is big. So Elder Tribe. The Ninth Tribe. Distinct from the commonly known Eight Tribes, they are condemned by the Sanctus Church for inheriting a dangerous magic heretical to the teachings of the Church. Okay, I'm a heretic. Their population is so small that to even uh, see one in public is rare, and they face greater discrimination than any other tribe. In fact, many outside the main cities don't believe they exist. Each of the eight tribes possess unique physical traits, making them recognizable at a glance, such as the Clemas horns or the Rusauntes 
long ears. The elder tribe, however, bears no such distinguished feature and thus are regarded as inferior beings, so we really are completely different. Clamour tribe. The Clamour tribe composes the largest population in all the allied kingdoms. The most distinctive features are the horns, which grow on both sides of their head. Clamours have a broad diversity of facial and body types, which has essentially made them average. The Ukrainian royal family are Clemmer, and members of this tribe hold a majority of important positions within the government, leading, them, uh, leading many Clemmers to internalize the belief that they are the kingdom's most preeminent tribe. Clemmers value freedom and dislike illogical restraint. They enjoy cultivating discussion, but do not always consider the situation or appropriateness of doing so, which occasionally leads to conflict. However, some studies suggest this disposition is what drives them to seek governmental positions and other important offices. Kind of makes sense. Rusonti tribe. I don't know how to pronounce this until we hear it in the game. One of the most populous tribes of the United Kingdoms, second only to the Clamour. Long pointed ears are their most distinguishing feature. They often boast excellent physiques, which has given them superior martial prowess. Rusanti women are stronger than most men of other tribes. Most, uh, many inevitably work on the military and often hold key offices. They are considered as influential as the Klammer and the two tribes are sometimes called the prevailing tribes. Many Rosat pride, I don't know, uh, pride themselves on outperforming others in strength. While this can be perceived as a self-disciplined competitiveness, on the flip side there are many with a belligerent, belligerent temperament obsessed with proving superiority in any situation. Ah, Peripus tribe. Why does it have to be that picture? Come on! A tribe recognizable by bestial uh, ears and a tail. There are many variations in their hair and skin colors, including cold colored skin not seen in other tribes. Interesting. They are physically adept and often honest with their emotions, giving them a repetition for hedonism, for better or for worse. They are drawn to parties and festivities, and while this happy-go-lucky charm is often to their credit, can also be seen as recklessness. Due to this stereotype, they are looked down upon by other tribes, which prevents them from, uh, from securing a foothold in politics, despite being nearly as populous as the Rosante and Clamour tribes. This discrimination against them is especially obvious in large cities. Damn! Prince of Ukronia. Oh! The son and heir to the throne of King Heathlodeus Heath V. More than 10 years ago, a mysterious attack on the royal palace left him afflicted with a deadly curse. The curse took its toll on his body, and though he barely endured the treatment, his recovery was interrupted several years later, when he and his closest aide suddenly vanished from the castle without a trace. The king exhausted all possible means to find him, but was ultimately unsuccessful. He was formally declared deceased three years ago, and a royal funeral was held in his honor. Gallica, a fairy who accompanies traveling boy on his journey, doubling as his chaperone, uh, chaperone for a special mission. Her diminutive size ex excludes her from participating physically in battle, but her special fairy traits allow her more proficiency than traveling boy when it comes to sensing magla and knowing magic. Though she can become heated when her personal values are tested, she is reassuring, uh, she's a reassuring traveling companion. Okay, uh, that was it. We read everything. Uh, we don't have time for detours right now. If you're lost, check your map. Okay. Uh, map. All right, then. Uh, yeah, just go straight. What are the symbols? Do we have... No. Can we... Oh, hi. Oh, come on, ah, it's an elder. Why is one of your kind here in Grand Trad? I have a business here. <laughs> What's wrong with me being here? Isn't it obvious? The church has made it clear. The Elder wields devilish magic that defies the teachings of sanctism. Yeah. Devilish magic, she, she says. If you were so magical, I doubt you'd have it so hard in life. <laughs> She's aggravating, but let's not cause a scene. Oh. 
Okay. Up Count Louis gets control of the army again. Oh, I love this. Chat, 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 chat. We're not going to war, are we? Count Louis is even a grand threat. Hi, who are you? Paripus woman. An elder, huh? Pretty unusual in these parts. Uh, not trying to be rude. Just mind yourself, this city ain't the friendliest to us. Inferiors. Uh, appreciate the advice. Yeah, be careful, or they'll get you too, just like us Paripus. Thanks. Uh, listen, country noble. Look over there, you can see the royal palace. No, wait, that's not right. That's where the Grand Cathedral is. At least I assume so, since it's off the main street. Seems to me Sanctism is the real, pri uh, really privileged thing around here, even more so than the monarchy. Huh. I don't like when religion and the state are intertwined. I like them separated from each other. Shady woman! Oh, not even talking to us. Thanks. It's water stay. Hey, hey. Uh, water stay afternoon, by the way. Look at that! The new model's out now! I could be... Oh, he's talking. I wasn't expecting an NPC. No, I want one! Yeah, until you see the price tag. I love her face. It's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Yeah. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, not exactly. Oh, that's the glittery stuff. That's magla. Okay. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Well, who asks, shady woman? Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say we don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Okay, thank you. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Uh, maybe? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter. Damn, that is the Royal Scepter? Uh, the Royal Scepter? The Royal Scepter? You've really never heard of it. <laughs> wow. Where do I even start? Uh, a symbol and instrument of the Crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic world-shattering power like an atomic more practically you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter and in the king's hands it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion okay now he's dead with no living heir either so we're gonna see war Tragic, isn't it kingly magic is of little use without a king yeah, kind of. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. Boy. I don't know why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. No, uh, I keep that in mind. I'll Thanks. Keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. As always. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. I love the loading screen. Oh, thank you for the follow. Um. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, ah, oh, we're changing. Okay. Ooh, the loading screens are awesome. Really like them. 
I was hoping that we'd blend in with the crowd and no one would notice that you're an elder, but the people here have sharper eyes than I thought. We don't want to draw attention, but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stand tall. Easier said than done, I'm sure, but it's for the sake of the mission. And on that note, the recruitment center we're looking for should be just ahead. Okay, uh, let's look. That's just there, okay. Birds! <laughs> so, wait, do we have an inventory? Oh, no, not what I wanted to press. Uh, yeah, we're at, we have items. Good to know. But we have no money. Uh, recruitment center. Hi. I want to enlist. That must be the recruitment center. I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Okay, hide in my bag. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Yeah, let's go. I love how she's animated while talking. That's really cute. Uh, shouldn't you hide? You got this. I've got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Okay. Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's worth. Oh. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? Secondary character charisma here. An apathy one, aren't you? He has the energy of a party member. Fine, Lordling. Welcome to the guard. Where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. Okay. But mark my words. War. Nice captain. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. <laughs> threats or by loyalty. No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. I like him. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <laughs> Be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. One right, piece? Do -do -do -do. Oh, that's going to be difficult now. An elder? I thought your kind was long gone. Yeah, we're just hiding from you. Age 18. An orphan, too. We're 18. The army can always use more of those. Dude. So what brings you to enlist? Um... I need the money. I'm just bored. I want to fight for change. I want to fight for change. I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin purse, no? So, what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills? Uh, I can run. I'm stronger than I look. I've got a sharp mind. I can take a lot of punishment. That's not the best answer. I'm small but quick. I've always been lucky. I've got a sharp mind. I've got a sharp mind. Yes, you and every unschooled troglodyte. Dude. Right. I really don't like you. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually needed for Oh, now we can. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this is the time. That's ah, already here. So the name of the protagonist, uh, protagonist. Yep, let's go. You know your letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes. Thanks. I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're short-handed as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. I will. You can pick up your kit at reception. Stand in issue guards and armor and igniter. Kingdom property. Igniter. So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. Oh no. On your way now. Up to. Next. So wait, when we're getting attacked and our armor gets damaged or ruined, 
We have to pay for it ourselves? What a long line, guess we've got no choice but to wait our turn. Um, hi. Unmotivated man. You're so young. Are you enlisting too? Well, not much choice if you don't have money or a job. Reef makes the world go round as it were. You want a magic igniter? Join the queue. Cutting's only gonna get you chewed out. Okay. Hi, young nobleman. You enlisting as well? The line starts behind me, if so. Or was there something you needed? Uh, are you really a noble? I take it you overheard my interview. Yes, guilty as charged. I am a noble, but just a countryside son of a lord. My family is of no real consequence. Well, let's just say I have my own circumstances. I'm volunteering to fight in order to protect the kingdom, foolish or not. Okay, uh, it's 23 degrees, I like that. Hi, anxious palpus. They said tribe don't matter in the army, but they'd probably put me up front as meat shield. Yeah, probably. Not that I can find better work. Wish I could serve Count Louis. His army, uh, his army's built on merit, so even a parapus stands a chance. Uh, oh, bulletin board. There's sure a lot of wanted posters. This is no time for gawking. We have to get in line. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. Self-assured man. Blast it. I came to enlist because I heard you can make a quick reef here. But the they really make you work alongside creepy elder? A parapus I can deal with, but elder are right ominous. <laughs> Where do you hear that? God's own scriptures. There's where. Guess you can't expect an elder to know shite. Let him say what he wants. Fighting someone like him would just be a waste of energy. Yeah. Okay, join the queue. It's still Waters Day. <laughs> Sightings. What? Of those huge monsters. You think that's why we're low on soldiers? I wish they'd have told us that. What did they call them? Something like um... Monsters, maybe? Hi. Another Wait. No. We don't look like the others. <laughs> One of them is not like the other. <laughs> of your kind I've seen. Yeah. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. Dude. Spare up in my hands. Give it here. Brute force with crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. I really love him. Again, boy. We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure Rousson strength? Rousson, ha, huh, thank you. Oh, to forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> ha, Sorry, be gone. You, you alright? Oh, it's fine. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Oh, uh, we're probably gonna be in a party, so. Any harder, please. Here, you igniter. Woo! Cinder igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. Magla crystals? It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. Okay, thank you, Quartermaster. The thing around his necklace is apparently a magic igniter. Ah, oh, the captain I spoke with earlier had one too. They must take on many different forms, like I saw on the main street. Mm. And take this too. Protect it with your life. Uh, a map? Royal Capital Vicinity Map. Thanks. For a while, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Probably, yeah. My name 
his captain Klingon. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. And I captain. you all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceeding for his majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you think will again. be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Pain. Pain. Perfect. Major pain. Our contacts hold up. Enjoy Good. Enjoy nice sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. Yes, man. Ah, to be young again and rested after six hours of sleep or four hours of sleep. <laughs> or no hours of sleep. Why is no one commenting on Galica? But he'll know you by your sword. Oh, by our sword? He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Okay, thanks. The charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Doesn't she sleep? Hey, you awake? Why are you waking me? <laughs> nope, I'm asleep. <laughs> I wouldn't too when I have to sleep on wood. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still, when you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open, it's a lot. You okay? Yeah, fine. It never gets easier. Yeah, it really never gets easier. Are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all? What? These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? Yeah. Rather think about it. But this sounds a little bit more apologetic to the people, so it's fine, it's been a long time ago. But I don't like that, but. Yeah. He's young, he's just 18. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. No. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? You have never seen it? <laughs> what book? <laughs> sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. It's Thanks. just a doodle book. <laughs> oh. What? It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born. In this really world. sounds like a fantasy. <laughs> wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a mm. world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. I like that one. Wow. Screenshot. I see. No magic. No tribal conflict. And equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy. It does. But it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. No, it's not. Hey, are you asleep already? <laughs> you know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? <sighs> well. Guess I'll just read more later. Good night. That's so adorable. Oh my god, I love this so much. Record the events thus far. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Even though nothing really has happened, but still. 
Hey Baby, what up? Arbor's Day, early morning. So it's June? Oh! Shouldn't you be resting? I'm gonna take a lot of screenshots. I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. The voice is way too old for this child. Didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth. By tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want the that to be the world we live in. The elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet, they burned your home down. Damn, this is a vicious depiction. It's tragic, and no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too... Damn. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. So he's eight years old One now? Who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. And our birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. Aww. So adorable. <sighs> uh oh. Oh no, it's time. Oh no. Oh no. But they were best friends. <laughs> I won't give up either. Trust me. We're going to be the hero you need. I love his side character energy. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's the best. Okay, that's not that many recruits. Okay, nothing is happening. Until arrival at oh. the northern border fort. One day remains. What? Metal stay. Yeah. Everyone pick up your metal guitars. Uh, I wonder how far we've come. Let's find our destination. Uh, the northern border fort. Uh, you can view information about your surroundings and the world map. Uh, yeah, okay. Ooh. This place here. Ooh, dynamic map. A fortress built to defend Grand Dread during the Anex War. After long disuse, it is now manned due to frequent monster sighting. Oh, Squad camp, a land used as a rest camp by armies who are en route to northern. Okay. Uh, okay. Royal capital, Grand Dread. Grand Red, capital of the Kingdom of Ukronia. Citizens of every class and social status reside here, but their sphere of life are clearly divided by numerous districts. Okay, do we have more? Zoom out. Ooh, this is a big... What the hell is this? Holy crap, what? <laughs> Holy octopus. <laughs> 
Äh, zoom in. Okay. Damn. Okay, this is really going to be interesting. Uh, confirm. The northern border fort. This is where our contact should be, so hopefully we'll find him. Quick. Got it. All we can do for now is rest. We have a big day tomorrow. Let's go. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. How amazing is that? Come on, idle stay evening. The northern border fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. I'm so happy that I saw the video from Gamer Ranks. Holy hell! Yeah, me too. Listen well, you backwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. <laughs> like now. <laughs> you have the honor to serve as the commander, Captain Klinger. Oh no. War hero, tactician, master of arms. Are you though? When I <laughs> Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? A world with no magic. Oh, a world with only one tribe. That's the thing. It tells of a world united as one tribe. No discrimination, eh? A far cry from our world, then. Dude, it's even a far cry from our world. What do you mean? So he's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Oh. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded eloquent speeches maybe he was too blind to see that himself oh that's sad listen to you a babe with his first sword thinking he knows better than a king keep your mouth shut no one cares what you think also our young nobleman probably says oh his family is of no consequence and then it just is something big <laughs> Please don't fight. Come on. Oh no. No, I don't want to go in between. Uh, is it a fight you want? Fight you want. Draw your blade. Oh. <laughs> 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 Didn't think you'd just challenge me straight out. You've got guts for a lesser tribesman. Well, Clamar. I'll let it go this time. But only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. Dude, why are the That's military... The I need. Oh, okay. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. Ah, uh, kind of. But still, the military is full of assholes. Yeah, thoughts sometimes. Although, I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Yeah. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. You are? Okay. I can't tell you. That's my name. That's my name. I have that right. <laughs> a certain weight to it. I love how they're just blanking the name. For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth. Now, um, well, he was still talking. Right. As for you, fresh meat. Someone, help. Fading soldier. Dude, are you dying? Is that a, a soldier? I hope you can recognize your own people. Dude, he's clearly dying. Stay on guard. Is it's too 
Yes. And dead. He's unconscious. Oh, thank you. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king. Oh, we're already being invaded? Anyway, to the fort. Double time. I'll stay behind to see to the fort. Yeah, of course you do. Of course you, you do. Ahead, alone. Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Are you a traitor to the cause? No, the but you... No place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's Royal Army. Swallow your fear. Fight with pride. And we'll all have medals this time tomorrow. Okay. Right. We're warriors. Are you though? Out there is our first chance and glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go. Damn it. Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward to the fort then. Yep, let's go. We can do it. We are the main characters. <laughs> Come on, sidekick. She has armor as well? Oh my god, that is so cute. It's hard to explain, but it's like <laughs> a stench in the air. And it's getting Okay, strong. I showered. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a fairy? Did you catch it yourself? I did not catch it. She's with me. She's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Galica. So you travel together? You stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Of course we gotta be careful. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to the <laughs> <laughs> Then head in once we're prepared. Armchair general, I love it. Uh, no. I'm not so sure. You've never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner. To. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be all right. I swear I won't let you die. Oh, thank you. I'm with you. New ally Stroll. Stroll, a brave fighter trying to conceal his nobility, has become your ally. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact Why? reports okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. She has a tiny sword. Oh, that's cute. Idle state night. Okay, 8 degrees Celsius. At least we have Celsius. I know it's cold. Well, this is an unexpected turn of events, but don't lose sight of our mission, okay? I know. Here we go. Be careful. Our contact should be inside, and we just have to find him. You're running with such purpose. What was that you were talking about? You said something about your ally? Oh, it's nothing. I was just worried about the soldiers inside. You see, well, whatever the case, this situation concerns me too. Let's go inside. Ooh, okay, can't really change the camera. Nothing here. Oh, new memorandum? What's happening in here? There is a lot. Okay, Stroll. Leon Stroll, a young man of the Clamour tribe, met at the recruitment center in Grand Trat. A genial youth who values justice with a good head on his shoulders. He comes from a noble family but seems to have complex circumstances that led him to enlist in the army. Typically a commoner's profession. Oh, good to know. Though new recruits grumble at being ordered to refer to each other by their surnames in order to prevent over-familiarity, Stroll doesn't seem to mind. Forden. Oh, we didn't have him earlier. Estivum Forden, the 78 Sanctifex of the Sanctus Church, the state religion of the United Kingdom. He holds the highest authority within Sanctism and, as such, is the leader of the Crown Theocracy. Despite hailing from the Roark tribe rather than the more common Clemma or Resort tribes, he enjoys a broad base of support in the turmoil following the sudden death of the previous king. Many view him as something of an interim king, giving his position as the leader of the moderate faction. Okay. Magic. Magla. Magla, Magla. 
A technical term for magic power that serves as the basis for magic. There are varying amounts in all things found in nature, including people, plants and animals. Because magla sometimes crystallizes in areas of high concentration, some scholars theorize that magla may be physical particles too small to be even seen with the naked eye. So, like atoms? A magla crystal. A crystallized cluster of magla that forms naturally in places where high concentrations are left to fester. Those scholars have recently developed methods to create them artificially. Ooh. The color of the crystals depends on the formation process and its impurities. High purity natural crystals are indispensable in production high performance igniters. As a result, some value them higher than gems and precious metals. Areas where crystals are abundant are often claimed in the name of the crown as mining sites. However, people have long whispered that magla crystals are dangerous, dangerous to those who deal in them. Such statements are largely regarded as hearsay because there was little evidence to support it. But recently even the state army has grown more cautious with them as reported incidents are on the rise. Okay, Royal Scepter. An ornate cane-like scepter passed down through generations of the Ukrainian royal family, proof of their right to rule. A magical instrument of extraordinary capabilities, powerful enough to induce natural disasters. It can only be wielded by the king and the popular, uh, popularly termed royal magic. Its commands ser uh, serves both as a pillar of the king's authority and a deterrent to war. Consequently, any king of Ukrainia must be well versed in magic and the boon of royal lineage is not enough to ensure succession to the throne. Historically, there have been many cases where an offshoot member of the prince's family has become king, when the bloodline's most direct heritor was judged not to have enough magical aptitude to truly wield the royal scepter. Uh, royal magic a powerful magic passed down through the generations of Ukrainian kings, invoked through a unique magic igniter called the Royal Scepter, and has tremendous power that can bring about anything the king desires. There are several records of its use in the long history of the kingdom, but it be for revolutionary or oppressive aims, but each is described as a cataclysmic disaster. It continues to represent a strong deterrent power to the royal family and the kingdom. A northern border front, a fort, a defensive fort on the northern edge of Ukrainian territory, also bordering the country of Oceania to the west. Built before the kingdom's, uh, kingdom's unification, this old stronghold has outlived its political and strategic re uh, relevance and is most use, uh, often used as a training ground for new soldiers. Okay, culture. Fantasy novel. The book Azumgi carries with him. That's me! It is a memoir style novel depicting a country with neither magic nor a notion of tribes, where people are not discriminated by birth, quite literally a fantasy world. It was designated as a forbidden text by the Sanctus Church ten years prior and most copies are though to have been burned. Damn. Making it hard to come by in present day. It is a well-bound book that would be unusual for a commoner to own. Recruitment Center uh, the last one. A center located in every city for people to apply to join the army. For those without family or means, volunteering is one of the quickest ways to earn money and social credibility. Recruitment is not always open, but concerns about pu uh, public safety due to the sudden death of the king, as well as monster outbreaks in the area, has led an unusual long recruitment period in the royal capital. Makes sense. Let's go! Open door. Do the Aragorn in Helm Steep. Oh, there. Uh, what happened? Hello? What the hell is this? Don't charge in there. There it is. That's a human. What? That's a human? We have to help the survivors. Uh, please, what? 
all the music. Damn it. This is horrific. So many dead. Grius, I hope you're safe. There's no time to waste. If we look, we may find some that still draw breath. Uh, deceased? None of them are breathing. Damn, we were too late. But well, there might be others. Let's keep searching. Run, 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 run. Uh, okay, can't press. Oh! Get back! We've got company! What? What's the deal with this one? It feels similar to that monster from earlier. It's smaller, but... Is that a human too? Looks like we're going to have to fight it. Uh, why does it have legs? It's an egg with a duck's head and an arrow through it. Wait, if it's a human, do we even stand a chance? Of course. I beat humans all the time. <laughs> Please don't take this out of context. All the more reason we can't just let it be. Trust me, I have some history with them. What do you think? Besides, our only hope right now is to join forces and strike as one. Would you not agree? I agree. I'm glad you've still got your wits about you. With you here, we might just get through this. Look, we don't stand a chance against the thing if we attack it separately. We can only fight if we, if we work out a plan together. Take care of it, please. Understand? The two of us, working as one. I'll trust your judgement on the timing of the attack. Uh, squad battles. Press triangle to engage in squad battles alongside your allies. You can press triangle, but if you use square attacks to stun enemies first, you'll start the battle with an advantage. Stay on the offensive, but continuously attacking with uh, square. Why did my brain just pause for a moment there? To deplete the enemy's break gauge that appears next to them, eventually stunning them. Okay. Things will be fine. So we have to evade. Okay, it stuns squat. Oh, it's a ooh, it's a mix of action and turn based. When engaging in a squad battle against a stunned enemy, one party member will perform an advantageous initial attack. In addition, enemies remain stunned at the start of the battle. Be sure to take advantage of this. Dude, what is that fight music? I love it. In squad battles, press square to attack with your equipped weapon or press triangle to use skills, which consumes MP. Performing an action will expand one turn icon. Seen at the top of the screen, when all turn icons are consumed, the opponent's rounds begins. Homo oppo! <laughs> uh, call power, wield arms, raise defense, yield turn, use supplies. Uh, yeah, just attack. Mage fire. Wait, we can't control him? Homo. Oh, that was too fast. Player turn. Wait, uh, analyze? Okay, don't have that one yet. Uh, no other target. Status? Okay. Uh, tactics escape. Uh, okay, no. Okay. Retry, turn back the clock. What? Yeah, let's just attack. 4 XP! Unscathed triumph. Damn, nice! We're gonna keep that in mind. Phew, we pulled through somehow. We're alive. That's all I could ask. Let's press forward while we still can. Uh, anyone alive? Hello? Uh, wait, what does the map say? Uh, we have to go north, so we're gonna... Oops, wrong button. Wanted to dash. Oh, is that an enemy? It is. Take this. Oh, it's stunned. This is freaking amazing! Uh, feral Hundo. <laughs> Analyze. So. Mage fire. Why can't we control Stroll? Burn to ash! Unscathed triumph. Level up! Stats increased. 
Where's physical attack damage? Because we used physical attack? Oh, allocate points. <gasps> nice. Um, we only have one point. Agility. What is N? What is N? Uh, oh, uh, lowest damage sustained from enemies. Kind of want that. No, but... Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's do... Raises item acquisition rate, etc. Hit evasion and escape success. I want to hit better. Agility it is. Music is fantastic. Oh, can destroy them. Who's alive? Watch yourself, the thing's dangerous. Don't be fooled by the way it looks. What? Oh, it's adorable! That's a human? Ah, take this! This is amazing. I really, really love this. Spoils none. Can we open this? Open door. No. Seems as though it's locked. Okay. I would destroy you. Oh, there are two of them. Doesn't matter. Oh, it's still alive. Great job, Stroll. Homo Tenta. Oh, nice. I don't want him to use magic all the time. Unscathed triumph. Okay, can we open this? There's there's an item. We can. Yay. Item. Revival medicine. Ooh. Um okay. Let's do this. Nothing there. Camera's a bit fast, but that's fine. Wait. Didn't they say someone is alive here? But where is that person? Maybe in there? Is there someone? I don't know. Did we miss somebody? Wait, menu. Uh, oh, he puts his sword away. Uh, where can we... Oh, is it just not possible right now to control our companion. Wait, story thus far? Nice, I like that. Um, oh, he puts his sword away by default. Okay. Nothing here. Dash! Let's go! Oh, there is even more that we've missed. Oh, what's here? Oh, items are on the map. Interesting. Item. Medicine. Yeah! Oh, I'm really sorry I forgot the name. But whoever made the music... Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, hold on. There's another one. If it spots us, this could get nasty. But we have the element of surprise. We could catch it off guard if we strike now, right? Sneak attacks! Yeah! If you manage to successfully attack an enemy without being seen using square, there is a chance of their entire break gauge will deplete at once for an instant stun. Okay. Sneaking up on them. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, nice! I love this so much. Uh, but how is it possible? No, there is no button to control stroll. Yeah, let's just attack. Oh, nice. Homo oppo. The fight music is so good. Oh no, this is not going to be an unscathed one. No! I... Th that was probably the time I should have used magic. Did it! Did it. 
Medicinal herb. Can we jump? No. Can we do anything else? No. Oh yeah, we can dodge. Uh, can we do it like this? Yeah! Nice. <laughs> Ragged fur. Oh, are you alive? He's still breathing, but he's badly wounded. And Elda, don't bloody touch me. I'm in a bad enough spot without you making it worse. That monster showing up was your fault, wasn't it? Bad luck follows you people. Ah, of course this is how it ends. Damn it. Damn it all to bloody hell. Dude, I wanted to help you. Dead soldier. Don't let it get to you. You're not to blame. Yeah, thank you, Stroll. The soldier appears to be dead. Dude, I wanted to help you. Uh, fading soldier. You're so young. A fresh recruit? Get away from here. Now. That thing is up ahead. There's still more soldiers left alive, right? We can't just run and leave them be. You're too late. That monster. We can't. Just run away. Stay away from that thing. Departed soldier. Soldier body's lying completely still. Oh no, that one was nice. He's not here either. Where could he have gone? He's probably fighting the human. Hey. What have you been muttering to yourself this whole time? What has you so concerned? Damn it. Ah, damned Elder! I knew this fort was cursed. You're why that horror attacked. Hey. Calm down. It's not his fault, the human appeared. You must know that, surely. But everyone's dead. They <coughs> all had <coughs> families. Help me, Elder. I don't care anymore. I don't want to die. Damn it. Oh, motionless soldier. Open door. <gasps> no, 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 no. Wait. You. You too. You're perhaps searching for someone. He's helping us. I That's right. Help. I thought as much. Now it makes sense. Why hide this from me? I trust you have a good reason. Well, to tell you the truth, what? there was an item further up. That cry. Is that the human from earlier? That? It sounded like it came from the top of the tower. Maybe there are still soldiers fighting it there. We'll handle our personal matters later. Rescuing any survivors takes precedence. To the top of the tower! What? To the top! Uh, let's go back. I want the item. I really, really love that it's on the minimap. Yes, thank you. Medicine. This is a good start for the game. I really, really like it. Uh, oh yeah, destroy stuff, by the way. Oh. No! Okay. Ah, too early! No! No! Okay, it's not go- Oh, it's going to be an unscathed victory. A uh, triumph. Level up! Uh, oh, magic leveled up by itself. Interesting. All oh, because... Hmm. Let's go into more agility. Oh, I don't know. Uh, this is why I really like when games do it by themselves. <laughs> but, 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 but. We need also a little bit more strength. Item. Broken igniter. Okay, what do we do with a broken igniter? Oh, I'm so happy this game came out and I was not aware of it. Uh, take this. Um... Because as much as I love replaying uh, Persona 3 Legacy Sword, Magefire, um, and then Persona 4 and then Persona 5, something new is just so welcome. And this game, holy crap. So, does it do anything if we destroy everything? Because we already see the item, but there must be something, shouldn't it? 
Medicine. Yeah. So, oh no, no, get away. Uh, can we? No. No, we can't lock. Okay, attack. Ha! Let's give him a fight. Opening volley. Uh, let's see. Mage fire. Let's use it. Burn. Burn to ash. Nice. Unscathed triumph. This is so good. Uh, okay, let's go. But now, wait. Where is... Where is our status? Uh... This? No. Huh. Wait, there is stuff down here. Um, because I want to see how much experience points we need to get to the next level. Yeah! Oh, this is going to be... Wait, do we have to go into the team mode every time because we're dealing damage to them aren't we i mean it's not that much time that goes into this i'm going to try it with that one okay because it does damage oh can't okay good to know uh, attack this one. Die hard! <laughs> I love how snappy the fights are. Really, really like it. Oh! Didn't see that one. But there are not enough enemies to get to level 4. Mark Club Hill. So MP. Would make sense. Uh, let's dash. Now do the Aragorn. Oh, or not. The roof is just up ahead. Might I have a moment? Yeah. If I'm honest, I have my doubts there could be survivors. Facing that monster together may not even save anyone at this point. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's a noble thing to do. Oh, I love you, Stroll! Isn't that just f throwing your life away? Why do this if it's possibly for nothing? Because if there's a chance that there's even one survivor, then I'll not be the, no uh, I'll not be the noble who runs away. Not this time. I could never live with myself. This time? Hey. And you? You plan to forge ahead despite the risk. I take it you refuse to die until you found whoever it is you're searching for. There's no turning back. Oh, I won't let you die up there. That's true, but... I can't just leave, uh, leave you to die up there. Ha! I'm touched. Even as in a situation like this, you worry more for others than yourself. If I run now, I'll never deliver the message and the prince will die. We have no choice but to press on. Well then, lend me your strength. I will. Oh, Gaia is awake again. What up, baby? Okay. What do you think? This feeling, I knew it. That human from earlier is up there. What should we do? Uh, just a second. Right, we can't help anyone if we just charge in and get ourselves killed. Let's make sure we're prepared before we head in. Um, Items. Uh, medicinal herb. 50, no, we don't need that much. 100 is medicine. Markler pill, 20. Uh, to one ally. Let's just give it a stroll. What is this? Consider selling it. Consider selling it. Oh, I really like that. That uh, Key items. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. Heirloom sword. Legacy sword. This is the one we have. Leather curers, traveler's clothes. Okay. Uh, Cinder igniter, travel charm. 
Fairy Charm, Noble Crest. Huh. Yeah, that's probably something that we're gonna unlock later. Let's go. Try not to do anything rash, okay? Here we go. So after the boss fight, that's it for this one. Even if I'm not streaming it, I'm gonna record a lot of this game. I'm already in love with it. Human! No! Such oh. Me neither! Avoid eye contact! Damn. Just like my teachers. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. Uh, this not... A subtle metaphor. I really, really like it. No, the mission depends on our survival. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm going to burn you to ashes. Or not. Uh, we probably have to attack the apples. Wingbeat. You are able to attack twice? Uh, no. Uh, looks like we can't brute force through this one. Okay, um... What do we do? But... We already used Spin Slash. Spin Slash. Oh, we're probably gonna get a third character or contact what more can I do the prince is my best friend I need to save him I can't die in a place like this and yet you two run. no but... above all else I am a noble and the noble defends his people no matter the cost oh I love him well, don't die if you would repay me then live dude no Player turn? What? No! Please say something! Wait, I hope this is scripted. It is. Okay. Just run for it. Oh, fate saddled child. Oh, anguished traveler. Thy fate is crown twined, thy soul bound for the throne. A future yet unknown dawns in this moment. Thy path may fork, but only one may be chosen. Confront the threat before thee, or die here in obscurity. Now choose. What? Choose. <laughs> so be it. Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Oh, it begins. Very heart. Ooh. Oh, God. What? What are you doing? Tokyo Ghoul? It's not what I was expecting. Damn. Strike from the sky, brother. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> anyway, we've got to find a way to fight back. Uh, deals weak magic wind damage to enemy. 
weak HP recovery for one ally. Uh, probably weak against that. No. My own power doesn't even compare. What's more, it can use magic despite its lack of an igniter. So interesting. Oh, we are tough. Are you okay? If we don't push back, we're dead. Can't we fend off those attacks somehow? Uh, attacking weak points. Certain enemies are weak to certain affinities. After you fit one of these weaknesses, the word weak will be displayed. Hitting an opponent's weakness or scoring critical hit against them will only decrease the turn icon by half. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, call power. Attack the legs. Yeah. Let's do that again. Destroy the legs. Attack the legs. Yeah. Oh, it's way less damage now. Okay. Let's just keep attacking with magic. Wind! Devour? Oh! Damn! But I can heal too. Eating its own fruit to heal? We can't kill it fast enough. It's just gonna fix itself up no matter what we do. Yeah. I can't believe it's eating from its own body. Can you knock those apples off? Yeah, can we just attack them? But I'm not sure how much health they got. They have a lot. Uh frenzied wings. Resist. Okay. Oh, we only have one uh, crystal left. Why? Okay, another apple. There are two apples. Uh, what do you want to do? Have Gallica knock down apples to keep the foe from healing? Yes! But please be careful. <gasps> what? Galaga, you're amazing. Okay, we have to start attacking with our sword again. Ah, oh, 24. That's not enough. Then just use magic. Oh, we also can... Uh, wait. No, legs and wings are damaged. Let's just do this two times and then it's done. Yes, my love, just a second. We're almost through. Yep, one more time. I really need to record this on my PlayStation so I can just take screenshots for thumbnails. <laughs> it's done. The human is dead. <laughs> Damn, Gorleo's apple. Not bad. I feel stronger. Oh, stats increased. Agility plus one. Oh. Lost damage, yeah. Just a second, my love. Yes. As soon as we can save the game. True. Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title for huh. this order. They pursued their wishes. Headache. Boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero. The power that lies dormant in all of us. The power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. 
Thy journey shall reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? She was able to hear it as well. Your whole body was... It was crazy! <laughs> He's not gonna believe us. Look, that stroll guy is still alive! That stroll guy! <laughs> I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. That voice... Grius! Oh, thank goodness, you're alive! Galica, you made it. You made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy, lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry him. The smell of blood will draw the beasts. Let's not hang about. Okay, interesting. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive, and you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the Fae. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Yes. Ah, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius, you have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Lee Squeaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. Oh. Those scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that Lewis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a parsnip mirror. You need to see the prince's condition for yourself. Oh, interesting. Through the mirror lies the prince, deep in slumber in the hidden village. His highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough. Just a second, love. He's cast the curse. So killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just going to crown a new king. Uh, kill him? You have to kill him? Suppose we'd better start at the beginning. About 15 years ago, a okay. child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some. To him. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put her in a blanket. I'll be right back. Just a second, please. I'm really sorry about this. So, okay. Um, I gave her something fresh to eat. So she's going to cry in a moment again. Because she wants to be covered in a blanket. But at least for now, she's satisfied. This Giaban, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. Interesting. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guiaburn himself. How do they know? But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that... King slain fiend ends up on the throne. We're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Because the regular people don't know the common folk. This is cunning. They left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, but the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Oh, but then again... I'm already speculating. Um, maybe the rebel uprising was also his doing. Yeah, Mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the 
masses who want change. He seems the savior they need. Hmm. If even you're that worried about him, this isn't going to be easy. That's a hell of a mission. <laughs> so that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. And we love him. He's the best. Then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? Yeah, why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title to say nothing of my heart. Uh, I'm losing my edge. <laughs> Make me regret this, and I will slay you where you stand. You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Interesting. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. Shouldn't we wear a mask or anything like that? So that no one sees us? Save the prince from death's curse. Uh, save the prince from his curse and defeat Louis uh, Guburn, or whatever his name was pronounced. The treasonous fiend who not only attacked the prince but murdered the king. Deadline, deadline unknown. Rank 8? Uh, 7. Interesting. Luis will also be at the royal funeral. If we are not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We are bound for a different route. We'll cut through okay. the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way around. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. Greece, the battle-hardened veteran, has become your ally. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. Yes. Let's. Now, you should finally be able to get some rest. Is this your first deployment, boy? Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. <laughs> this is never going to be not funny. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I'd ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Madra, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. Damn. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found in those bloodstains. Ah. Well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. Oh, uh, tell me more about, uh, tell me more about the mission. With numbers like this, a head on assault would be suicide. Quick, covert assassinations are best bet. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. What? And... The three of us alone are supposed to stop him. We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. Interesting. He will die by my hand. Oh, Grius, it was nice to know you. Oh, a fire should keep the real dangerous stuff away, I hope. Oh, okay, now. Okay. Uh, we're gonna talk to them next time so we're gonna save our game now create save data here yes uh how many 
is it possible to have? Uh, I want to know. Uh, no, we're also gonna read up on these things later. 16 is possible. Good to know. Um, okay, I really, really enjoy this game. It is fantastic. Uh, this is going to be a good game to play in between uh, Persona 3, 4, 5 and then until Persona 6 comes and I just love it. It's fantastic. Um, wait. So, okay, I also um, said to PlayStation, please record everything so I can just use it as a thumbnail creator later. <laughs> and yeah, interesting. I didn't play the demo for this, obviously, um, because I don't have PS Plus. I have no interest in PS Plus. And somehow you're only able to download the demo with PS Plus. Uh, otherwise, you could have just played it earlier this week, as I saw again the Gamer Ranks video, um, because the demo progression would have just be transferred to the full game. But that's the world we live in. Thank you so much for watching. This is a lot of fun. I can't wait to play more of this fantastic game. I hope you had as much fun as I do, uh, did. And yeah, uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube again, please remember to do all the platform specific things, all the things that make the dinks. So um, thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever you have to do. And have a great day, stay fantastic, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.